it is incredible and hard to believe that this is a natural product and this is like our ground. We are living on such a thing. I mean, we are living on a flying, rotating stone. And this is something which I think is making me feel very small and very respectful to this little stone we, we are standing on. Pras Toto is a big installation which is spread out throughout the venue. And it is an installation made of globes. And these globes are made of stone, different kind of stones from all over the world. This is a piece of art with 12 stone spheres of varying sizes from quite small to very large. Uh, we started the process when we knew we wanted to bring art to the engineering quad by forming a committee. The piece was made possible by long-standing, very generous donors to Stanford. They're from Asia, from Africa, from Europe, from America. I tried to spread them as much as I can through all of our globe, because for me it is to teach myself and us about the sphere where we are living. For each and every one of them, there is a geologic story, and it's a profound story. I mean, we're not talking about small events, we're talking about making mountains, and we're talking about faulting and thrusting, heating rocks at great depths in the Earth's surface, erupting lavas, forming ocean basins, and closing ocean basins. All of these rocks represent events of that magnitude in the geologic past. It is a little bit like God would play marbles. I built a 1 to 100 model of the campus and then what I did is that I also had the spheres and I've been just throwing them a few times and we filmed it. So then we mapped all these points and I, cho I have chosen the one which I liked formally the best. I mean you really need people and a good team because I'm very dependent on the stonemasons um, who I'm working with since like 15 years and more. And it's a very manual, actually. I mean, it's like cut it with a chainsaw first, so it's like a cylinder, and then it is like, it, it's kind of pinned in a, in a rotational system. The artwork brings a new dynamism and vitality to this quad. Uh, the quad is relatively new, but it still has a, a nod to tradition. I think it's really nice to have a nod to creativity, uh, vitality. This guy, is a metamorphic rock. All of those layers in there represent things that stacked up at the Earth's surface and sediments and volcanic rocks. And then they were buried and they were heated and twisted about. And that's how you end up with this complex. Looks like taffy and that's essentially how it formed through metamorphism. I'm hoping this art piece inspires our faculty and students to, to think differently. I hope they'll come outside, wander around the spheres, and maybe approach some of the problems they're working on from a different perspective. I really believe that creativity is fundamental to education and research, the mission of the university. And so having wonderful art around the campus just reinforces that commitment.